Hey, what's going on everybody? I got almost a four pound uh, bottom round roast. I'm going to reverse sear it. And I'm not going to overcook it this time. How about that? Nothing fancy. Just going to going to uh, slow smoke it. Hopefully it'll make it good and tender and tasty. I've got some uh, brisket rub. You see that? That I picked up. It tastes pretty darn good. I, I did in the brisket, but hey, it's beef. It should be good on it. I'm going to hit it with mustard for the binder. And uh, I'm going to put it on this rack and, and smoke it in this cat into my uh, rec tech on this cast iron skillet so I can keep the juices because I'm going to make an au jus with the, with the gravy, with the drippings. So that's it. Let me, uh, Get it seasoned up. I'm gonna let it sit out to room temperature for like an hour to cool down or warm up. It's not too warm outside, so it might not cool down too much. But yeah, I'm just gonna season this up. You get it. You've seen that before. All right, there it is, all ready to go. I'm gonna let it hang for an hour, and then we'll throw it on the smoker and use the old tap of Q. Bring it up to 120. Now we're going to uh, reverse sear it. Sear it in a pan in that skillet. All right. All right. I'm not waiting an hour for the meat to cool down. <laughs> Who's got time for that? I got the rest tech set nice and low. One probe in the meat, and one just checking the temp. Not that I need to. What we're going to do her as low as we can until she gets to 120. Get some good smoke flavor to it. And I'll see you back. Alright, I brought it up to 120 on the smoker. Now we're going to sear it off. No juice came off of it, so I was hoping to have the juices from it. But Just going to sear every side of it here. Show you some more. This should finish cooking it, bringing it up to like medium rare. It's a little burnt, but whatever, we're going to make it work. I dumped out most of the, uh, the grease. Get a couple of tablespoons of flour. Alright. I'm 
we'll cook this for a minute or two, get the flour taste out, and we'll be back. All right, we have two cups of uh, beef stock. Turn this down a little bit. Bring this to a boil and it'll be done. All right, there's our au jus. Ready to go, smells good. That's the stock crap on the yellow stuff you're seeing. Don't you worry about that. Where's you going? It's better light. I'm cutting here though. Need more light? It's okay. Can't get it. What am I supposed to medium rare yum try some <laughs> I bet there's a little piece in there somewhere She's left. That ain't it. Mm. I didn't even try the all you little crap. Hold on. Still recording, didn't it? No, red's recorded. Mm -hmm. Maybe you weren't recording before. You see how this is? Nice and juicy. Some that all is you. It tastes awesome already. Mm, mm. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Mm. <laughs> oh. Mm. <laughs> For a cheap cut of beef, this tastes excellent. Try it. And then I was you. Oh man, that's good. It's good. Mm -hmm. I strained the all you the bits through this little funnel with a filter or a screen to get all the bits out. But all right, it's time to eat. Yum! Yeah, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I just want to say that was the best 
roast beef I've ever done. Racktech rocked it. This rub was awesome. I'm telling you, this the flavor is great. This stuff's good. I'm gonna get me some more of this. And the au jus was excellent too. That was one of the best au jus I've ever had. I'm telling you. I didn't even put all I put on it was this. It's got some good flavors to it. So give it a try. All right.